Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. It's the holiday. <laughs> this is so exciting. The friends, I am going to share with you in this video my hacks on how I stay on track on the Christmas holidays. <laughs> Stop my light. I'm gonna stop this light. Here we go. This is so exciting. This video is gonna be a bit of a smahuba. That means, <laughs> in cola speak, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna share with you some of the low calorie treats that Kyle and I use to keep us on track throughout the holidays. And I'm also gonna make a really cool experiment copycat Starbucks low calorie peppermint mocha after that. Well, it's gonna be hot, not cool, but. Oh, sassy. He's always sassing. So here we go. Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and we have some experience with the holidays. As soon as Christmas comes around, all this tasty food and cool treats comes around and hot treats if we're being sassy, it comes around and we're always like, oh, I wish I could have that. Oh, I wish I could have that. But it's too high in calories. So we're gonna show you some of our favorite ones, some that we picked up, some that we always have around. Um, and let's show you starting now. You hung the stockings on the fridge this year, eh? Yeah, isn't it nice? And good. Maybe you could put some treats in there for Cola Sassy. Well, uh, we'll see about that, but <laughs> I don't been, know. I've been a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I like how you covered up my name with Sassy. <laughs> well, because they're gonna say, uh, that's Sassy. You can't put Kyle on there. That's yeah. Sassy stocking. Sassy ones might not get anything in the moment. Usually empty that stocking every year. Look at this stocking. <laughs> oh, the so friends, if you want to be a magician, you can be a Christmas magician. You can turn this paper 100,000 subscriber plaque into a real one by hitting the subscribe button. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, so here is some of our favorite Christmas low calorie treats. This sugar cookie toast crunch is a winter addition. This stuff is amazing. 130 calories for three quarters of a cup. We've been topping it with our anabolic ice cream with it. It is so good. I just discovered these. You can get these at any grocery store. They're the Pillsbury sugar cookies. They're two of these cookies are 110 calories, which is so cool because I didn't think that these were low calories. So you get to have sugar cookies. It's really cool. Like a lot of the kids cereal, like me and Nicole have shown before, like kids cereal is lower calorie. And you wouldn't yeah. think that until you read the labels. No, you think like, oh, there's no way. There's also an elf one. We ate it all, but it was Maple syrup flavored cereal. That a one's good cup. on anabolic ice cream too. And it is, but it's gone. I went to get more and it's gone. 110 calories for a whole cup if you can find it. I love keeping mini marshmallows around. They're so good for so many things at the holidays. These are the white mini marshmallows. They're 100 calories for two thirds of a cup. If you get the multicolored ones, they're less sugar than the mini just regular ones, but white looks pretty and stuff, so you gotta get the white one. <laughs> then, um, holiday drink-wise, this only comes out in Canada at the holidays. I don't know what it's like for other countries, but we only get this at Christmas time. So it's the Diet Cranberry Ginger Ale, the Canada Dry. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It feels like holidays without the calories. You would think, because we're in Canada, that that would be easy to find. It's actually, a lot of the friends are telling us it's hard to find. Really? Yeah. Um, Walmart is where we found it, and I just noticed that it's theirs in Canada. So these are two things that um, we just discovered. They're limited edition Lily's sugar-free chocolate chips. Yeah, like we've shown you guys some, the first couple sugar treats that are low calorie, then the Diet Pop is no sugar, but now we're on to sugar-free. And then there is a sugar version I wanna show you too, but this is Lily's limited edition for the holidays if you can get them we got them online these ones are pumpkin spice flavor baking chips and they're no sugar added 50 calories for like 14 grams 
and they're really good on anabolic ice cream. We also found the peppermint flavor. And we just make sure, like you guys have seen, like we portion it out so that it stays low calorie. Yeah, we go by the serving sizes. That's why it's for 14 grams is about 60 calories, I think, for these. Now, if you can't find the Lily's No Sugar Added, I just discovered there's a limited edition chip it seasonal one that are mint and these are just for the holidays they're mint chocolate actual chippets and they're not sugar free but one tablespoon is 70 calories which is really good for mint flavored chocolate chips for the holidays and a little bit goes a long way it really helps me get out my cravings and this is why kyle and i have been able to keep the weight off for so long we portion out what we like we choose the low calorie version most of the time if it's not available we portion out the regular i didn't know that this was actually decent in calories i just picked it up for the heck of it and this is actually pretty good so this is peppermint mocha international delight coffee creamer and it's obviously seasonal and it's only one and a half fat and 35 calories for one tablespoon. So a lot so, of you guys ask us all the time, because me and Nicole normally throw out most of the year drink black coffee. Yeah. But you always ask us, how do I do that? How, well, you don't have to, as long as you she, got your measuring spoons. Yeah, and so like a tablespoon, and mix it in your coffee and you're good to go. And if you don't need a tablespoon, do half a tablespoon or a teaspoon. Yeah, it, a little will flavor quite a bit. Yep. So those are our low calorie things. Now what I'm gonna do is make an experimental version. I totally just, I saw the Starbucks has a peppermint mocha and I said I want that. So how can I make it low calorie? Because the Starbucks Grande peppermint mocha 440 calories. Whoa. So I'm gonna tell you what my calories are for my homemade one after. Let's make it. So we need some coffee and we're gonna make it pretty strong. I, since I was doing a copycat Starbucks, I decided to get Starbucks ground coffee and I got the dark roast. So I'm going to measure out two heaping tablespoons of this one. Heapers. Heapers. And Kyle and I actually do like really strong coffee. So. The Starbucks homebrew coffee is actually one of our favorites. It's really good. So I'm just gonna measure out two heapers into here. Yeah, that's it. Technically, that's a heaper. That is a heaper. If you want. Oh, to that know. is really dark. I can, it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah. So we always put. I don't know if people still do this, but we always put a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor and stuff. And then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill the coffee maker to about two cups okay <laughs> i don't wear my glasses for the glare but i can't read the numbers on the coffee maker <laughs> so i have to signs of old age <laughs> so there's the four is there so i'm just gonna go about halfway that looks about right so two cups of water about two cups of water we're gonna pop in our two heapers of coffee and I'm gonna just set this and, and forget, forget this. this. So. I like your glasses. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so Blindy has to wear her glasses for the rest because everything's really blurry. Sorry guys. The coffee's going. Now we're gonna do one and a half. Um, I'm making two servings. By the way, this is gonna be for two people. So I'm gonna measure out three cups of silk unsweetened vanilla creamy cashew. We choose this one because it's the lowest calorie. We're gonna do about one and a half cups per person. So that's why we're doing three cups. And then for This the is our favorite um, non-dairy milk is the cashew, silk cashew. For the mocha piece, we're going to do some chocolate syrup and this is the Walden Farms chocolate syrup. Two tablespoons. One. You're a genius scientist. Two. Nova. Well, um, I am actually. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. <laughs> I was like, I want to make that. How do I make this better? Well, uh, like low calorie. If so you don't know, me and Nicole are always looking at fast food flyers, commercials and stuff and seeing what's new and being like, we want it, but we don't want the calories. How do we make it low calorie? So I'm adding some sweetener just to just because probably needs to be a bit sweeter. And it's the zero calorie, one heaper tablespoon. And um, now we're gonna make for the minty part, 
peppermint extract. If you haven't used this before, it's really powerful, so a little goes a long way. I'm only gonna use an eighth of a teaspoon for this whole thing, and it will it will be enough. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is whisk this together and heat it in the microwave so that the milk is nice and hot. And there goes our beautiful mocha piece for the peppermint mocha. Nice. I'm just gonna do a tasty testy. So let's do it. Let's uh, take a little slurp. Yes, that's right. That's correct. I like it. Did it. So I'm gonna do like a minute and a half for this milk. Okay, this is ready. A minute and a half in the microwave. I'm re-whisking it. And then the coffee's still going, so I'm just gonna divide this in between both cups. And we're going for about one and a half cups per. So take a large glass. Fancy glass. Yeah, fancer. It's gotta be a fancer, guys. And I'll let you guys know we have a version of a, a mocha. Yeah. It's a it's a peppermint mocha in our cook in our guilt free cookbook, but we wanted to try since Starbucks came out with this, we wanted to try this kind, you know, a little variant on it. But if you are looking for another recipe, we do have that in the guilt free cookbook. And that's what I love about like our guilt free cookbook and all our recipes is like I'm always looking to modify and like, oh, how can I make this like this restaurant or like this coffee place or whatever. But that's the beauty of our cookbook and, for, and of everything we do. For those of you guys that have the guilt-free cookbook, feel free to make modifications to any recipe. You can throw yeah. in, get creative, put in some peppermint, but whatever you want to do. And and that's exactly it. And then you just change up the calories and you're good to go. So I'm going to take this coffee and I want a quarter cup so to make it less messy I'm just gonna hold it over here and I'm going to transfer it can I do this without spilling guys Let's see uh, can she do it little spill on her little anybody. spillage a little bit of spillage and then a quarter cup for the other one and you don't feel hot things on your hands because you're Italian yep yeah, old hot hands, they call me. <laughs> <laughs> little spill action. A little spill action, we're good. Okay, so now I'm going to oh, stir this good. up. Shall we stir it together? Let's use this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is looking great. I bet it's gonna be good. So first, this is what we're gonna do. Since this is an experiment, guys, first I'm gonna make it the way I made it to look like Starbucks, and then we're gonna go crazy and put this in there. So first though, let's make it like a real Starbucks. We're gonna put, this is four tablespoons of light whipped cream for 30 calories. So we're gonna put four tablespoons of this per drink. One, two, three, four. And we'll do the same to this guy, girl, whatever. And then, Starbucks tops theirs with chocolate shavings, but since we bought these mint chocolate chips, you, we're gonna go rogue here. I and like do, the way you think. Yeah, right? a teaspoon to keep the calories down, but to still give it that uh, je ne sais quoi. Remember, I now remember why I married you. Okay, so that's the final product. Now, this one, without the adding this stuff is 164 calories. So this is my version compared to Starbucks, 440 calories. You're saving 276 calories. So I'm gonna take a sip of this and see what I think. That's really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You may as well put this in a Starbucks coffee cup, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, but now, like, I really wanna try this stuff. So, we're gonna add this, and then I'll tell you the calories added with this in it. Cause, oh wait, you shake these things first, right? I don't know, we don't normally buy creamers, so no. I'm not uh, an expert. And then, it's one tablespoon for the calories. So, let's... It doesn't really smell like anything. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Drink it. Oh my gosh, that's good. Let's stir that in there. Mm. Wow, it's good both ways. This if you guys can find this, this is worth 35 calories. Like, this is going to make your Christmas. And this, mocha. this Starbucks -y drink, guys, it's going to feel like the holidays. So, we like to have fun on the holidays, as you guys can see. Like, we don't eat boring all the time. No, this is how we do it. How we stay. Okay, I wrote somewhere where I saved the Starbucks. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we love to have fun. This is why we stay on track. There is no track. We make fun, low calorie things that allows us to enjoy the holidays, enjoy life, get out our cravings. And this is why we keep the weight off and we keep getting more fit. I keep buying smaller and smaller clothes. It's okay. I wrote it down, but I got silly. One of these. Oh, here it is. She did it. <laughs> All right. So with that creamer added, it's 199 calories, and so then you'll be saving 241. And that is it. If you want to know. Oh, well, first of all, if you want our guilt free cookbook, the link is down below. If you want to know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. The links are also down below. Exact meal plans, portions, family friendly recipes, it's all in there. Also, the exact protein powder and pre workout that we use, the link is down there for those. Or you can watch these two videos, have fun and lose weight and love your food. This is what we're about. And do some magic today. Come on, Christmas magic. And this, now we are out. We're going to lawnmower, but, but the lawnmower sounds like fa la la, fa la la, fa la la la, -la. happy holiday, happy holiday. That's what the lawnmower <laughs> sounded like. And now. The last thing you need is one of these with caffeine. <laughs> so I'm taking both these. Guess what, Sathy? I'm going to drink. Oh coffee. no, oh no. The police will be here soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beam. You PG for YouTube. Shake it well. So your mama made it like <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. Peace. Love ya. I'm out. See ya. <laughs> Bye guys. See ya. <laughs> Good to have this right before bed. <laughs> so there's a few hours left. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it. Don't give up.